Greetings, welcome to Facts About Everything, I'm your host James Egan. Did you know every movie in the Nightmare on Elm Street series has a theme? The first one represents puberty, the second one represents sexuality, the third one represents self-discovery, the fourth one represents college, the fifth one represents becoming a parent, the sixth one represents becoming an adult, the seventh one represents middle age, the crossover Freddy vs. Jason represents living in the past, and the 2000 remake represents old age and death. And that is the first fact about a Nightmare on Elm Street, let's dive in. A Nightmare on Elm Street came out in 1984. Charlie Sheen auditioned for the role of Glenn. The part went to Johnny Depp. This was Johnny Depp's first film. 500 gallons of fake blood were used throughout the shoot. Had this film failed, the studio New Line Cinema would have gone bankrupt. Robert England plays Freddy Krueger. It took him three hours to put on his makeup. The film was directed by Wes Craven. Craven was bullied as a child by a kid called Freddy Krueger. Also, let me know if you want me to do a video about Wes Craven. When Freddy was set on fire, the stuntman had to run up the stairs, fall over, and get back up on one take. At the time, it was the most complex fire stunt ever in a film. The stuntman, Anthony Cesare, won the Best Stunt of the Year award for that scene. When Freddy scrapes his glove across a wall, sparks fly. This effect was caused by attaching a car battery to the glove. The scraping sound that Freddy's glove makes was created by scratching a steak knife across the underside of a metal chair. England based the physicality of Freddy Krueger on Klaus Kinsey's portrayal of Nosferatu in the film Nosferatu the Vampire. Universal Studios rejected the film. Wes Craven hung the rejection letter in his office. The film spawned a TV series in 1988. Although it was very rubbish, it ran for 44 episodes. The tagline is, if Nancy doesn't wake up screaming, she won't wake up at all. The film cost $1.8 million. It made $25.5 million at the box office. And in each movie, I'm going to explain how Freddy Krueger died. If you don't want to no. Tough. In this film, Freddy Krueger is defeated when Nancy says she is no longer afraid of him. Since Freddy's power is fueled by fear, he disappears. The song the skipping girls sing is 1, 2, Freddy's coming for you. 3, 4, better lock the door. 5, 6, grab your crucifix. 7, 8, can you stay awake? 9, 10, never sleep again. A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, came out in 1985. This is the only film in the series where the main character is male. Brad Pitt auditioned for the lead. The tagline is, the man of your dreams is back. This is the only film in the series where Freddy doesn't kill anyone in a dream. Freddy Krueger is defeated in this movie with the power of love. Yes, it is one of those movies. A Nightmare on Elm Street 3, The Dream Warriors came out in 1987. This was Patricia Arquette's debut. Max is played by a young Lawrence Fishburne. The wizard master kid is wearing a Dracula cape. The film was banned in Australia for three years. Surprisingly, it wasn't banned for its violence, but for its drug references. Let's go. This was the first film that Frank Darabont wrote. He went on to direct The Shawshank Redemption and The Green Mile. The tagline is, if you think you'll get out alive, you must be dreaming. Freddy is defeated when his skeleton is buried and he is given the last rites. A Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, came out in 1988. Alice works in a diner called Crave Inn. This is an obvious reference to the director of the original film, Wes Craven. 26 minutes into the film, a nurse wakes Kristen up at the school infirmary. The nurse was played by Robert Englund, the same actor who plays Freddy Krueger. This is the most successful film in the original series, making $49 million. The tagline is, terror beyond your wildest dreams. Freddy is defeated in this movie when all the souls that he had captured over the years rip his body to shreds. A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, came out in 1989. The entire film was finished in eight weeks. It was shot in four weeks and edited in another four weeks. Wow, that's astounding. It'd be more impressive if the film was good. It's not even mediocre, it's just terrible. This is the most unsuccessful film in the original series. It only made $22 million. Because of this, the studio decided that the next one would be the last one for a while. The tagline is, Freddy delivers. This film reveals that Freddy's mother is a nun. She was locked in a room full of prisoners and was viciously raped. This gave Freddy the nickname, the son of a thousand bastards. Freddy is defeated when his soul is trapped in his mother's soul, I, I think? I, I don't know, I can't remember, I don't care. Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, came out in 1991. Final. Peter Jackson wrote the original script. He is most famous for directing the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Freddy's father is played by legendary musician, Alice Cooper. The tagline is, they save the best for last. 
which is weird because this is definitely the worst movie. Leslie Dean, who played Tracy, said that making this film helped her unlock repressed memories she had when she was a child. Johnny Depp cameos in a TV commercial. Freddy doesn't kill anyone with his glove. Well, not directly. He scrapes his glove off a blackboard while a deaf kid has like super ears, which are so sensitive it makes his head explode. Okay, this is supposed to be the last film. How are you finally gonna kill Freddy Krueger? With a pipe bomb. That's it. This film reveals that Freddy's able to control dreams because he is possessed by dream demons. After he is killed for the sixth time in this movie, the dream demons believe that he is no longer worthy of their power, abandoning him, forcing him to go to hell. The last thing Freddy says is... New Nightmare came out in 1994. Wes Craven only directed two Nightmare films, the first one and this one. This film is about Wes Craven creating a new Freddy Krueger movie, but then Freddy Krueger comes out of the movie and starts killing Wes Craven and the actors. Wes Craven's daughter, Jessica, cameos as a nurse. The original title was A Nightmare on Elm Street 7, The Ascension. The tagline is, this time, staying awake won't save you. The way Freddy is depicted in this film is how he was supposed to look in the original movies, but the crew couldn't get his makeup to look right. A scene of a spider Freddy killing someone on a giant web was scrapped. Freddy Krueger is credited as himself. The film concludes with Freddy Krueger burning to death. This death seems fitting, as it's the same way he died before he turned into a dream-controlling demon. Now let's look at the crossover. Freddy vs. Jason came out in 2003. Peter Jackson nearly directed this movie. Ken Kersinger played Jason Voorhees. He is six foot five and he's the tallest person to play Jason. Kersinger needed to have his teeth done urgently during filming. It would have taken too long to remove his makeup and costume, so he went to the dentist wearing his Jason outfit. Most people at the dentist thought he was an escaped psychopath. Wonder why? The original ending was going to have Freddy and Jason battling in hell in a gladiatorial pit. 17 scripts were written for the film. One script was going to reveal that Freddy Krueger is Jason's father. Freddy kills one person. Jason kills 23. Pinhead from the Hellraiser series was supposed to make a cameo at the end. That reminds me, at the end of this video I'll leave a link for my Hellraiser series and my Friday the 13th series. Freddy's weakness is fire because he was killed with fire. Jason's weakness is water because he was killed with water. Jason is stronger than Freddy in the real world, but Freddy is stronger than Jason in a dream world. The tagline is evil versus evil. This was the last time that Freddy was played by Robert England. That's because a Nightmare on Elm Street reboot came out in 2010. Freddy's sweater was knitted by the same woman who knitted the original. Rooney Mara hated being in this film so much that she nearly quit acting. Oh, thank God she didn't. The tagline is is Welcome to your new nightmare. Freddy is played by Jackie Earl Haley. By a complete coincidence, he auditioned for a part in the original A Nightmare on Elm Street, but the part went to Johnny Depp. Steve Buscemi was considered for Freddy. That would be ridiculous terrifying and amazing at the same time. Freddy's face was created by the same animators who created Two-Face for the film The Dark Knight. When Haley was asked how he got into the mind of a killer, he said, sitting in the makeup chair for three hours. After that, you feel like you could kill someone. And finally, the script was rewritten 15 times. And it's still terrible. Special thanks to these fine people for all their help. Be sure to subscribe to Facts About Everything. Follow me on Twitter for updates on upcoming videos. Check out my Facebook page to let me know what subjects you want me to talk about in the future. Thanks for watching. See you again.